Shirley, thanks very much. Mitt Romney did come out on top in Iowa, but only by eight votes. And some analysts say that a long, drawn-out Republican race could help the man that they ultimately want to challenge, President Barack Obama. For more on what Iowa means for President Obama's campaign, I'm joined by Timothy Hagel. He's an associate professor of political science at the University of Iowa. Thank you very much for joining us, Professor. You're I guess welcome. Iowa shows that voters uh, aren't quite ready yet to anoint a Republican frontrunner. How do you think that the White House is going to exploit these ideological rifts within the Republican Party, given that the, the, the race was so tight, just eight votes in, in, in it, really? Well, in part, what they're going to try to argue is that the Republican Party is split, that they're undecided, which to some extent, of course, is true. But I think ultimately that the Republican voters and hopefully from the Republican point of view, a number of independents will ultimately coalesce around whoever the Republican nominee ends up being. But do you anticipate a lot more infighting within Republican ranks, which I suppose would be a bit of a, a, a godsend for the White House, wouldn't it? It will, mainly because when you have a very difficult primary battle, then the various candidates that are seeking that nomination will try to exploit the negative aspects of their opponents. And of course, when those negative aspects are exposed, then they can later be used as fodder for an attack by, in this case, the incumbent president, the Democrats. So how do you think that the Democrats are going to go after somebody like Romney? Well, if Romney gets the nomination, there are a couple of ways that they can attack him, some of which they've already begun to do. One is whether he's a flip-flopper or not, that certainly over the years, as even Romney himself has indicated, he's become more conservative. So his position on a number of issues, such as the life issue, has in fact changed. Plus, what they'll try to do is target Romney on the basis of his background, that he comes from a fairly wealthy family, and so they'll argue that he's not a man of the people, so to speak. What about somebody like Santorum? Well, Santorum does have a more uh, humble upbringing. He can talk about that. He can talk about the working class background that he grew up in. And as a result, he connects with middle class workers much more so than Romney does. And that's actually going to be a challenge for Romney in terms of his uh, attempt to even get the nomination, let alone if he gets the nomination and can, to try to convince people for the general election to vote for him. And talk a little bit about the importance uh, of the evangelical born-again Christian vote to this election campaign. Well, it's certainly an important uh, block of voters here in Iowa that they make up somewhere between 50 and 60 percent of those that attend the caucuses. And that's where you saw the difference between Mitt Romney, who's not seen as a true conservative in the eyes of the social conservatives, versus Rick Santorum, who is. And that's going to be uh, an issue in later states as well, less so in New Hampshire, which is coming up next. But South Carolina in particular has a lot of social conservative Republican voters as well. And so undoubtedly, uh, Rick Santorum will hope that they join him rather than going to Rick Perry or to a lesser extent, Newt Gingrich. So as the battleground shifts now to New Hampshire, what is the Republican game plan going to be? Well, the Republicans, uh, you know, each candidate has his own game plan at this point, and Romney is playing the long game, that he didn't expect necessarily to win Iowa, but did very well here, and in fact did win, although by that very small margin. So he's well positioned to win in New Hampshire, and he will hope that the two wins in Iowa and New Hampshire will propel him on to victory in South Carolina. For the other candidates, they have to hope that they get enough of a boost and can last long enough to combat Romney's superior uh, funding and organization. All right, Timothy Hagel, thank you very much for talking with us. You're welcome.